Hi guys and welcome to the July Greenwich Literary Symposium Book Club. Do you want to try that again? Right. <laughs> and try and say Greenwich Literary Symposium a little more fluidly. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to the July Greenwich Literary Symposium Book Club Review. This month we have been reading Stumm by Jem Lester, uh, which was recommended by one of our fans. Um, Auntie Anne. Auntie Anne. Anne. Uh, so thank you for the recommendation. If you've got any recommendations for books that you'd like us to review, do leave them in the comments section below. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to uh, see when we publish our book reviews as they happen. Um, so what's the book about, Katie? <clears throat> so, the book is about a young boy who has autism and I suppose the relationships with his family and how his lack of communication impacts those relationships, I think. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. Um, it's kind of how it influences the whole family and the relationships with yeah. the whole family. However, Katie, mm. I can see uh, the skirt that you're wearing, so what did you think? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah? I did like it, yeah. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was an interesting read. I loved it. I loved it. Um, <clears throat> I think what it talked to was kind of a side of autism that you don't really mm -hmm. see in the media. Yeah. And this is almost kind of, I don't want to say trendy, but there, there is this kind of mainstream view of autism in the media. And that's the view that the understanding that I had of it until really I read this book um, is that, you know, Aut people with autism have some kind of superpower as well as having the, the, yeah. the social difficulties and challenges that they do. They've also got they're either massively artistic or the the mathematicians. Yeah, of course. Um, but actually, autism is a spectrum, as most of us know. But there's a real high end of the spectrum, and I hadn't appreciated that mm. before. And I think this book is so real and honest about about that side of things. Yeah. It's, it's out of the mainstream media, and um, it kind of. P portrays the kind of judgment that may, the, the, main, the mainstream put on these parents who are trying to get the best for their yeah. child. It, yeah. was, it, was, it was really, I thought it was really powerful. I think that was message. the most beautiful thing about it, how yeah. it showed the different side of autism that is not so well known by people yeah. and not so accepted, absolutely not, not as accepted. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. What did you think? I liked it. I thought it was a bit slow to get going um, and I thought it it ended too soon for me, um, I because I knew I had about 30 pages left, I was expecting it to end in 30 pages mm -hmm. and then I kind of felt like it ended quite abruptly and then went into this massive um, like, epilogue. Yeah, I agree, I agree that the last bit it was like an epilogue. Yeah, and I know it gave you a lot of the background to the reasons mm -hmm. why things were happening but, you know, I kind of felt like I wasn't, I'd prepared myself for the book to finish much further on and then all of a sudden it just happened and that yeah. threw me off a bit. Um, but I really, I really did enjoy it. I thought it was quite an important book yeah. to read to understand this kind of level of autism yeah, absolutely. Um, and how it does impact on families. And the, that, that lovely relationship, although very um, difficult relationship between the father the grandfather and the son, you know, that, yeah. uh, that three generations. Yeah, and I thought that, that was a real, like, communication thing, yeah. wasn't it? Because the, the the parents of this young boy couldn't communicate with him because he didn't talk or anything. Um, and the grandfather couldn't communicate with his own son, but managed somehow to communicate with the lad. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was the, the kind of... In a really beautiful way, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and But the, the, the father, Ben, was so jealous of... Of, of that mm. relationship, and that's probably very quite real as well. Yeah. Uh, but one thing you said to me, um, we said, oh, we shouldn't talk about the with all book club, um, was how surprised were you that it was being told from the father's perspective? Straight away. And I, I, I actually, when I, when I realised it was being told from the father's perspective, I kind of went, oh, and I had to go back a few pages and reread what I just read yeah. because, um, you know, in the first few scenes, the first few pages, um, it's about the parents 
cleaning up this mm. this young child that's incontinent that can't talk and you know obviously we don't know it's autism at the yeah. time but has some real behavioural difficulties um, and you just automatically let's like unconscious bias it's obviously the mother yeah. cleaning him up and, and everything that was a really, then I had to go back and <laughs> yeah that's a really important part of the book for me yeah is looking yeah. at this whole thing from a father's perspective and not assuming that it's the mother because I absolutely did I assumed it was the mother and then when I realised it was the father that was telling us about who's, who's story it was I, I, I don't know I, I looked at it differently mm. and I think it was me I, I think it was a I think it was a really important thing for me to realize about parents and their relationships with children Is that yeah Relationship Absolutely, like we were talking just before as well that it's the mother that leaves the family mm. um, in this instance and not the father. And again, it's that unconscious bias. You don't expect it, mm. but why shouldn't you expect it? It's you know, it's yeah. one one half of a couple leaving. Yeah, exactly. So, what did we think out of five stars? I I loved it. My only critique of it would be that at some, at some point, and I know it's delivering an important message about the battle that this family had with the local authority. Um, and all, all the court process and tribunals and things like that. At some points, I felt it was a little bit too procedural, and it was a, a it was a little bit. Ironically, for a book about communication, there was too many words used, and they didn't need to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to give it a very solid and enthusiastic four and a half. Right. Okay. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I found it a bit slow to get going at the beginning, but I think I probably do with all books. Yeah. It takes me a while to get into it, and I. I didn't like the fact that it ended probably 30, 40 pages earlier and then kind of went into this pro yeah, yeah. kind of thing. And that threw me a bit. Uh, I'm going to go with a four. Okay. Uh, before I give my rating, there's a couple of things that I have so left bookmarks I wanted to mention because okay. I liked them. First of all was the shout out to Greenwich. Mm -hmm. um, well, oh yeah, when you cross the river, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The and they're like, yeah, but have you never been to Greenwich? Because it's beautiful, so yeah. a little shout out Tip. to Greenwich there. And the other one, um, there was a great quote in it. <clears throat> Someone told me last week, if you have one foot in the past and the other in the future, you piss on the present. And it, <laughs> I, that, like that, I yeah. love that. What a great way of thinking about it. You know, if, if, you do, if you're living life either in the past or in the present, you forget about the future and you, you, know, you can ruin it. I just thought it was quite clever. I thought for me it kind of summed up the book for me. Oh, um, do you mean the part, if you're thinking about the past or the future? Yeah. You're not thinking about the present. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's the um, that's the father all the way through, yeah. isn't it? Until the end when he finally grasps hold of, hold of his present. And so I thought yeah. it was quite nice. Um, for me, it is a four out of five. Okay. Yeah. So it's probably an average, average just four. over four, yeah. Just over four, yeah. Four. A four. Yeah. But Anne-Cian. Good shout, mate. Thank you. Keep the recommendations coming because we obviously all really enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, do we have a recommendation for the next book? We do indeed. We do. Um, who has recommended the book? Um, we have been re recommended a Martina Cole book this month uh, by none other than Martina Cole herself. Um, I asked her what she thinks that we should read, and she said, One of mine. And I said, Which one? She said, Any. So we've gone with her newest book, Betrayal, which is currently buy one get one half price at Waterstones. Or three ninety nine on Kindle. Um, so if you want to read this along with us, um, then get your copy of Martina Cole's Betrayal this month and then come back next month when we post our video review and you can comment in the section below uh, to let us know what you thought. Um, thanks so much guys and we will see you next month. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers.